Hi you guys. I'm so excited to do this video that I, I've never made a video just for a 6x6 pad, but that's how excited I am about this paper pad. Everybody's been showing the Wonder Collection from Crate Paper, which don't get me wrong, is super cute, but it's just not, um, I don't know, <laughs> it's just not for me. But I did get the puffy stickers, so I do have to admit to that. And the little house thing that's going on with it is cute, but I'm not, you know, I don't see myself running out to get it. But I thought I would switch it up a little bit and share another collection. Now, I was going to wait. I did order a few more pieces from Paper Issues, but I seriously could not wait. And it's like on Mila's bed with Mocha, her leopard right here, in like awful lighting, but I just, you guys will be okay with it, right? And at the end, I was going to show you a few things that I um, picked up. I had to get a birthday present for Mila, which I have to, or Mila's friend, I have to say real quick, Tuesday morning is like perfect for gifts. They're not only cheap, but they're like really, you can find a lot of like those educational kind of toys there. And anyway, so I browsed through the craft section. I only picked up a few things. So they have like some new art supply stuff there. So I put in an order at Studio 29 Designs, which is also the Take 10 kits. I was going to get the glam bag and the kit, but I just, I don't know. I was just kind of being picky about what I was getting. So instead, I opted out of that and I got the cut apart. This is the cut apart I got last month and she accidentally sent it to me again. Um, but seriously, like I messaged her on Facebook and 10 minutes later, she's like, I'm so sorry, I'll send the other one out. And so this is the new one for this month. And I just, I don't know. They're just cute. She does such a good job. I love them. So now I have two of these, but so this is the new one, kind of like a summer, summer theme, and these are um, navy. And then I did, she has a really cute big, like a bigger stamp out right now, but then she has this little one. And of course, I just always see these and like icons like that. And I think my planner or Project Life, but these fit, I'm assuming, right inside of here. And I'm thinking that these words, maybe not this one, but actually it probably will fit in there so that's really cute so I got these two and then I was like you know I don't want to just get that so I'm kind of browsing through and I saw that Pink Fresh Studios which I don't own anything from them except a washi tape roll that they had a new line out and it's called Happy Things and I couldn't really see that well what the paper looked like but it looked cute enough and I kid you not I squealed when I went through this paper squealed I always get excited when I get paper that's not in a pad, if that makes sense. I know that some of my Allison Craft paper pads are like that. Um, and it's just like, to me, it seems like it's thicker quality and better quality. I have no idea, but <laughs> that's what I'm going with. So I have not been this excited about or let me say, I've not been in love with a paper line like I am with this. A Cherry on Top has the 12 by 12, I think, for pre-order, and I have to get the collection. I have to have these 12 by 12 papers, and you will see why. Um, so excited about it. I know that I, like, always talk out of my ears or, you know, whatever the saying is, talk out of my mouth, talk out of my whatever. Um... In other words, I know I say a lot of things, but I don't always do it, but you all cut me some slack, right? Okay, I would like do a series called like the Pink Fresh Studio. Marissa has to make, um, <laughs> my friend actually just texted me. <laughs> oh gosh, that was funny. I wish I could read it out loud, but I won't. Okay, anyways, that I love this paper so much that I will make a layout like challenge myself to use this whole entire thing and then maybe buy another pack to hoard. Okay, it's been four minutes and I haven't shown you. It's called Happy Things. You guys have to get it. I could not wait till I got the other pieces. So what's so fun about it, this is never, I've never gotten this in a pack. You get two pieces of this vellum with gold tipped feathers. Get out, get out, shut the back door on my toe. What? Okay, anyways. Look at it. So cute. So two pieces of that. And there are 14 designs and you get two of each. 
here we go. Oh man, my favorite was on the top, but here we go. So this block pattern, oh my gosh, it's, this paper is so cute, you guys. Seriously, please go buy it for me. I'll buy it for you. No, I wish I could. So this triangle, this one I was like, uh, but it goes with the other one, so I uh, love it, not uh. Oh my goodness, look at these. I always talk like Kermit when I get excited. Look at these, you guys, they're so cute. Let the good times roll. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, yes. You would think that I just ate like the best cupcake or something, but I know I'm acting goofy. I'm just, I'm so excited. There's something I actually absolutely love. And then this one, which is super cute. I don't know if the stars go this way or, yeah. Whoever designed this strategically put the designs in the purse or person perfect place because I usually shy away from getting, you know, like 12 by 12 pieces that have designs in the corners and stuff because it's usually too busy or not in the right place. But honestly, whoever designed these put the elements in the right place or the pattern, whatever. I try to sound cool. This just this is perfect the way it is. So you can see why 12 by 12, I must have. This one is super cute, and I was looking at it, and I'm thinking that they're supposed to be probably, well, it could still be a perfect layout just like this for 12 by 12 and put your pictures in here. But I think that we are supposed to cut it. And if not, I am going to cut it into fours because that right there is super darn cute. And then there's this one. Again, it's just perfect where everything is, isn't it? Come on, you're my big shoulder right there. Man, if I could dance and not move the paper, I would, because it's just cute. This, I think, is would be perfect as a 12 by 12, because this is perfect right here. I say perfect 50 million times in this video, but just like putting your pictures all along here. I mean, who doesn't? scrapbook like that and put all of their embellishments right there. Um, I do. There is a bow die that's out. I think it's called the bow tab die. I'm not sure yet. I didn't put it in my cart at Paper Issues. It's only $7.50, but I didn't want to get a die that I didn't know what I was doing with it, but I'm going to have to see how people are using it, and then I might. And this one, and then last but not least, oh, yeah, because this is like my favorite paper in the world. I love black and white paper that looks like this, and there's a lot of lines out that have this, but that is it. Isn't that cute? You got, come, just get it for me. Don't like buy it for me, but buy it because I told you to, and you won't be disappointed. I know, ugly band-aid. All right, that is it. I had to share and show you guys. Um, Tuesday morning has some new brushes out. These are those kid brushes, but I think that they work fine for mixed media. Um, they're $1.50 at Tuesday morning, and they do really have like all of these different ones. The flat one, the detailed one, but these look nice and thick, so I thought those would be, you know, it's a different brush than what I usually have. And they do sell these at Joann's. These, this is the company that made the water brushes that I own. They aren't the greatest, but for what they are, you know, they work. And they have some new canvases out, the ones that come with the paint. My kids do use these, but I do like to kind of, you know, create and paint. I've done a few, but I don't think they're that cute, so I haven't shown them. But, you know, you just sew over it and kind of make your own thing up. But it's nice to see new designs. Um, Mila got a flip-flop one. There's some palm trees. And it looks like they have these back. I bought almost 20 of these last time I went and um, donated them to my kids' school because they are 39 cents. But they're these huge palettes, and it looks like they're back. So I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, and then I got this September Skies. I have the Project Life kit, so I thought this would go good because I'm still in the middle of working on it. And you guys, the response from my Project Life process video was out of this world. So now I just think that I'm really good, and I'm going to make them all the time. So that's it. Hi, B. I just wanted to show you guys that you need to go buy this or I will hunt you down. Okay, talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.